Here we have the 180 top loin. And to start cutting the top loin, the first thing we want to do is identify the sirloin end of the loin. And you do that by locating the end that has two distinct muscles seen right here, the sirloin muscle and the New York strip muscle. So we're going to go ahead and cut three steaks off of the end, about three quarters of an inch thick. You can use these to place on a special menu breakfast steaks or sandwich steaks. They're approximately eight ounce steaks, eight to 12 ounce steaks. And these sometimes are referred to as vein steaks. We have the rest of the strip. We're gonna turn this over and remove the tail. We do that by just slicing from the end to end. And at this point, we have approximately 87% saleable yield. So at this point, we can turn this into lovely petite roast and fillets. So now we're gonna start with the rest of the top loin. And we are going to cut this in a way where we can make thicker cut fillets so we can hit our portioning. We're going to trim any unwanted fat, and then we're simply going to cut this in half. We're going to trim the fat to our specifications. Typically a quarter or an eighth inch thick fat cover is normal. This piece can be left whole, one and a half to four pounds, or we can portion this nice top loin into many sizes of fillets. You can take two inches, slice, trim the fat, for approximately a six to eight ounce filet. You can even portion this thinner for the breakfast menu or the lunch menu. The strip petite roast portions nicely, one and a half to four pounds. The top layer of fat helps infuse the roast with flavor during the cooking process. Menu these cuts is a smaller option for carving stations. The segment for these cuts is anywhere from non-commercial buffets and hotels. Try this roast Southwestern style. Rub with cumin, black pepper, and coriander. Top with the spicy salsa verde. The strip filet portions nicely, four to six ounces. Extend the value of a filet to the other subprimals. Menu this as a new filet item. You can offer this item all the way through casual dining through upscale steakhouses. Season the filet and grill to medium rare and add as a topper to a caprese steak salad. These cuts meet the USDA requirement for lean.